so good morning sir i am the seventh semester student and uh, here i am presenting my el work so we are doing a uh, finite element analysis for an air, for an el green wing so we are uh, imported a static structure now we will take the model and put it in the solution part of static structure for geometry we will just uh, import the geometry this geometry i have already made and then imported and then let's go to the model analysis it's starting like it's taking some time yeah so it started so here is our geometry so the geometry we have imported this is one of the geometry so i want to change the material to titanium so i will apply titanium titanium is not a titanium alloy then i generate the mesh it's a bit coarse mesh so let me make it fine let it make it 5 mm of size now let's update it it's generating so yeah so this is our final mesh now let's get to the inputting the values so as we know in the aircraft one of the ends is joined so we are yeah so we are inserting one inserting a fixed support so this is the fixed support we are inserting at this end we inserted the fixed support and we know that the pressure is applied for the bottom part so let's insert the pressure pressure we selected the surface applied the pressure and we make it uh, in components we want to make it perpendicular so let me make it y and apply let's say 1000 megapascals 100 megapascals sorry so this is the result and now let's solve it Yeah, so its result has come. So now let's insert the values. Like I insert total deformation, one minus strain, a maximum principal stress, and strain energy. These are the four inputs. And let's uh, make the number of modes to five, and let's insert five modes of deformation. These are the five modes of deformation, and these are the five properties I want to see. Now let's solve it. So yeah, so these are the results. So first we can see total deform. This now total deformation is not solved yet. Let's solve it once again. Yeah, so now it's solved. So this is the total deformation we can see over there. This is the equivalent equivalent total deformation maximum is two to seven four point nine equivalent elastic strain maximum principal stress strain energy you can see over there now coming to the model analysis these are the five deformations one two three four and five for deformation we can even see the animation as it is so you can see how it's changing. these are the five frequencies obtained for the deformation so that's my presentation from my side uh, these are the five values i obtained and five modes of deformation that i have obtained so these are this, this is my project this is done combinedly by two of us first is anurag that is 1 rv19 m019 and second one is amit that is 1 rv19 m013 so that's our project thank you for our side thanks